And joining us in studio is Andy Everett, the voice of the Roadrunners, who called an unbelievable comeback on Saturday. Thanks for the time, Andy. You got it. So before we play the clip with your call, I got to know if you've ever called a game like that, a comeback, as you're probably that. No, I think in 2011 would be the last one when UTSA was trying to get to the Southland Conference uh, Tournament final. In the, in the first uh, game of that tournament, they came from 11 back in the last four minutes. But this was incredible. This was 18 down at the 429 mark when they called the final media timeout. And it was just craziness after that. UTSA kept making shot after shot. And Old Dominion, which hadn't turned the ball over very much, started turning it over and missing free throws. Here's the final sequence with Andy Everett's call. Wallace across the timeline, driving all the way to the baseline for three. Oh! Bullseye! UTSA leads by one. 15 seconds to play. Here's Green across the timeline. All the way in the lane. Missed the shot. Loose on the floor. Stiff puts it up. Missed that one. It's tipped out. Four seconds to play. Kith Cart in the lane. Missed another one. Tipped out to the baseline. Ball game over. UTSA wins. <laughs> Andy, just an unbelievable sequence. At what point of that? run did you think okay this is kind of doable this might happen well when they cut it from eight to five and then from i think uh, they make a free throw and it went from six to four and then to two all right now you just need somebody to miss a free throw and then brian stith who may be the player of the year in the conference or certainly one of the candidates throws the ball away unexpectedly and now you have a chance to take the lead in the last uh, 25 seconds of the game and they didn't even guard keaton wallace who had been hitting threes all day long he goes to the corner and hits an easy uh, for him three-pointer and now you're in the lead then there's the other sequence at the end where Old Dominion is just crazily putting up shots. Any of them could have possibly gone in. And fortunately, the referees swallowed their whistles. So there was no fouls called. And it was a miraculous win. Because you can never get, never get enough looks at the play. We've got it running right here on our video board. When ODU is going through that final sequence and they get several opportunities there, did part of you think, and you're in the moment calling the game, but did part of you think, it would be fitting for this crazy ending to, to end with an ODU out of nowhere bucket, and that's how this one ends. Well, I'm a fan of coaches not calling timeout and doing what they do to get the defense on its heels, but Old Dominion's a great half-court offensive team, and I'm surprised they didn't take that timeout to get in a set and get something a set for one of their best players. In retrospect, I'm sure they'd like to do that now, but uh, yeah, you're always wondering if this miracle comeback's going to be spoiled by something ter terrific at the end for the other team. And Thanks for the time, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for the time. It's something I'm bringing it down for us. You got it.